Because of Jesus, death isn't permanent. How does this truth affect your view of the future? Hey guys, Andrew here with Unlocked, your daily key to open up your heart to God. Rising from the dead. People love to make movies and video games about scary and terrifying things coming back to life. But while those stories aren't true, there are real stories about people coming back to life in the Bible. Not as zombies, but as healthy and normal people. In fact, Jesus even came back to life. And coming back to life is what our devotion is about here today as well. It was written by Deb Gardner Allard and is titled Back to Life. Look at all the zombies coming out of the ground, said Spencer, tossing a handful of popcorn in his mouth while watching the final minutes of his new favorite show, Living Zombies. He tossed a pillow at his 16-year-old sister who sat curled up with a book on the sofa. Man, this show is fantastic, Izzy. You should watch it. There's this gleaner who can bring zombies back to life. He might raise zombies, but I know someone who will raise us from the dead. As you could probably guess, Izzy meant Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins. Three days later, he came back to life again, proving he's God. 500 people saw him after he rose from the grave. He told his followers he was going to heaven to prepare a place for us so that we'll be with him there when we die. We see that in John 14, verses 1 through 3. And one day, when he returns to make all things new, he'll raise us back to life. But how can we get this forever or eternal life? Eternal life comes from God, the source of life. Death is caused by sin because sin separates us from God. And we all sin. That's pretty clear in God's word in verses like Isaiah 59 verse 2, John 14 verse 6, and Romans 3.23. The Bible, God's word tells us that we must trust Jesus alone as our Savior from sin and death. He offers salvation as a gift to us by the power of his resurrection. We see that in Romans chapter 10 verse 9, as well as Acts chapter 17 verses 30 through 31. Many times when we're given something, we have to give something back in return. But this gift of life is free. We see that in Romans 6.23. So the good news is this. If we trust Jesus, he will always be with us. And when we die, it won't be permanent. We'll live with him forever, with resurrected bodies made new by him. So let's talk about this. Because of Jesus, death isn't permanent. How does this truth affect your view of the future? What questions do you have about today's reading? Who's a trusted Christian in your life you could bring those questions to? Now, as we read in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Now, I'd encourage you to read Matthew chapter 27, verses 45 through 54, as well as 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 20 through 28, to help keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a service of Keys for Kids Ministries. Have you seen the cover art of the different editions of Unlocked? If you want some posters, stop by shop.keysforkids.org and you can check out what we've got for sale. Until next time, I'm Andrew, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.